This morning, controversy in Coeur d'Alene. Allegations have surfaced that the Utah women's basketball team faced racial abuse while staying in Coeur d'Alene for the tournament, forcing them to move hotels. Krem 2's Brandon T. Jones live in Coeur d'Alene right now with the very latest. So, Brandon, what do we know at this hour? Well, what we know is that Utah's head coach spoke out about the incident last night after the game they played against GU, saying her team was the target of racial harassment here in Coeur d'Alene that ultimately made them feel unsafe. Today, the mayor of Coeur d'Alene is holding a press conference, and at this point, we aren't sure if the two incidents are related, but the timelines are adding up, and here's what Utah's head coach had to say. You know, we had... Uh, several instances of um, some kind of racial uh, hate crimes uh, towards our program and uh, incredibly upsetting for all of us. Uh, no one knew how to handle it, you know, um, and it was really upsetting and for our players and, and staff to not feel safe in an NCAA tournament environment. Um, it's messed up, um, but yeah, that's what happened. And it was a distraction and upsetting and um, unfortunate. So Gonzaga released a statement about the incident late last night. It read in part, quote, hate speech in any form is repugnant, shameful, and must never be tolerated. It went on to say we are frustrated and deeply saddened to know that what should always be an amazing visitor experience was in any way compromised by this situation. So as for that press conference we mentioned a little bit earlier, that's scheduled to start at 10 a.m. this morning. But for now, reporting in Coeur d'Alene, Brandon T. Jones, Crim 2 News.